Hi, I want to share with you some exciting news from Zapier. They've got a new module in beta, which is available to everyone, called Looping by Zapier. Let's have a look and see what it can do. So this is a feature we've been waiting for for some time from Zapier. Up until now to loop through uh, line items or text or numbers in a sequence and use them in the next step has been difficult. You've had to use a webhook or use some code, but now you can do it with an app by Zapier. So let's have a look into Zapier and see how that works. So what you'll see here is a test database I've set up for a shop. They've taken some orders from their clients. We've got their details. And the status of the orders is picking or dispatch, depending what the status is. So you want to be able to notify each of your clients that the items have been dispatched. How would you do that? So we're going to create a Zap that uses the new looping tool to show you how simple that will be. So if we open up Zap here and we'll create a new Zap. And let's call the Zap uh, orders dispatched and just for the purposes of this you probably set a delay so maybe you check it once a day but for the purpose of this I'm just going to use the push module just so that we can show you it in action event is new push and we'll continue and we'll continue there and we'll test but skip it because we have no need to do that just now so what I want to do is I want to have our Google Sheets. I want to select the particular Google Sheet and find many rows. So what I want to do is find the rows where the status is dispatched. So let's just select that spreadsheet that I've created. There's a spreadsheet, loop orders, worksheet is orders. And the column I want to look up is status. And the lookup value is to be dispatched. So if it shows dispatched, I want it to pull back that information. And we'll click continue. And now if we test that, you'll see it'll bring back a number of uh, the rows. So it's brought back rows three, four, six, and eight. And those are the ones where it says dispatched. So I want to add an element now. And let's say I wanted to email those users. Uh, so send email. Um, choose your account. We'll just use that account. And rather than using the address of the the person because they're fake, I'm going to just send them to myself. Just for the purposes of this test. And this can be from that address there. So we'll say the name is Andrews. Now, subject will put in order number. Now, when we go to select the order number, what we'll see is that it's actually going to put in all of those numbers. So it's not going to send it to individual people. It's going to send one email with all that information. So that's not what we want. So how do we sort that? So what we do is we add a step and we put in the new looping module. So looping by Zapier. And we choose the event. So I want to create a loop from line items. You could do it from text or numbers, but we're going to create it from line items. And we're going to continue. And what you need to do here is set the values that you're going to want to use. So I want to use name. And then I select them from the spreadsheet lookup row. So there we've got the name column. Order number, and I'm going to select the order number row here. And the value. And of course, we'd want the email address, although I'm going to send it just all to myself. But we'll pop that in to show you how that would work the email address and add in the email address and then we click continue 
And if we test that, what you'll see is rather than showing them as Frida Jane separated by a column, it now shows them each as an individual item. So if we close that and go to our send module now, what we can do is in the address, so where I've got two, what we could do is we select it from the loop option now and here you'll see I've got an email so I could select the individual email. Previously it would have shown as Fred at Jane at but now it's just showing us the individual address. So if we add this in here the order number for each user is going to be different so we'll select it from here and we'll select order number. Body's going to be playing and we're going to say hi and then we're going to put in the user's name Frida your order number and we'll pop in the order number again has been dispatched Oops. and will be with you shortly and we could put in the price if we wanted so your order number and we'll pop in the price as well just to show you that it does work and we'll click continue and we'll click test and review so that's going to send me a test email and we'll turn on the zap so now what we want to do is we want to push this through to show that it's actually working so if we open up my browser I've got I've got a push by Zapier button, so we'll select that. Orders dispatched, so we'll send the message. And then if we go back to my email, and you can see now the mail is beginning to come in, and each of those has been sent. Different order number, different name, different value. So you can see that that saves an awful lot of uh, effort. You don't need to code or use webhooks to try and um, create the loop as we maybe did before. So that's just a very brief overview of loop or looping by Zapier. Hopefully you'll find it useful. Have a look at it around, have a play with it and see how you get on. Leave me a note in the comments to let me know how effective it's been for you. And if you want to see more of these tutorials, click the like and subscribe button to be notified of any new tutorials. Thanks for watching.